So this is um, part of the family part three, and uh, it is kind of a chilly day today. It's only about the mid 70s. Usually it's uh, around 80. So I have um, my sweater on here. This is the heaviest thing I brought, and I'm wishing that I would have brought something heavier when I left. Uh, when I was at the airport getting ready to come here, I just left my winter jacket on a seat thinking that it would go to uh, Lost and Found and then it would get donated. And I really wish I would have kept the liner in it. I mean, maybe my blood's thinned out already, but uh, it gets cold here at night and it never drops below 60. Uh, it's, I guess it's all relative, but uh, I'm definitely grateful for long sleeve shirts and, and long pants. So, uh, I talked about marimba, um, thinking about continuing that, um, and if it gets paid for, I would be able to, to, to do that, uh, and it's just a, it's really another way for me to gel with the new family and friends that I've made here. Um, <sighs> I am well beyond any despondency or sadness I may have felt when I first got here. I definitely was in a euphoric state for a few days when I got here, just in awe of the beauty that I am surrounded by and the warmth that I am, am met with every day by everyone. And um, part of my integration is... Um, really about me learning how to ask questions when I need to, asking for help when I need to. And that has always, both of those have always been, um, well, asking for help has been difficult. Um, and I guess uh, asking questions about things when I need to has at times been difficult because my ego wants to think, oh, you know that already. And... I know nothing here. I do know how to open a coconut. It takes me a while, but I can open it without spilling all the water inside. And I, I, I can open it good enough to drink right out of the coconut and not stain my clothes. Um, I can't say enough about how excited I am to be here and excited I am, uh, how excited I am about what might be next. I think we're all still kind of hoping that um, something about the land sale will fall through. I think that's just an honest uh, observation. I think we were all tolerant of Rich being here. Um, not really uh, accepting, but just tolerant, and um, anyway, that that's something else I don't really want to talk about. Um, I know what I would like to to say. Last Saturday was the full moon, and next door at Coco's they had an ayahuasca journey for people, and four, uh, well, three of our members here from Pangaea went there and then one uh, Vanessa's partner who is not part of the of the group here but comes to visit on the weekends to be with her uh, through a group uh, acceptance um, when they finished uh, I felt the energy rise significantly and Monday and Tuesday were well Sunday and Monday were just very high energy wise and uh, Tuesday kind of leveled out Tuesday was when Rich left and people kind of came back um, down to earth I guess um, there's another one coming soon I won't say when going to be for Pangaeans only. I'm very excited about an ayahuasca journey 
uh, with my fellow pink ions. I have never done ayahuasca. Um, there are quite a few people here who have a lot of experience with it. And uh, the medicine that we are going to receive um, has been prepared by someone who has done it and led journeys many, many times. Um, I am interested to see what my personal journey will be and also what the collective journey will be with everyone. And I really think it's going to bring all of us much closer to each other. And uh, we'll, just, uh, we'll just see what, what happens. I will definitely talk about that after. Um, <clears throat> it is a medicine. It is very healing. It is very heart opening. And uh, Lawrence, if you're watching, I want to thank you again. I know I wrote to you already about it, but I want to thank you for recommending it to me. And I, uh, I find it, um, it's definitely calling to me. When I went to see the gentleman at Coco's who um, is leading it, he just happened to be walking up the driveway when I went over there. And uh, so I had a chance to speak with him about it. And um, um, definitely decided it is definitely something I want to do. Uh, so tonight is Clive, and I am anxious to share with everyone how my feelings have changed since I've been here. Because I remember um, the last time I think I got up and I said, um, well, the last time I was going through a funky day, I didn't say anything. I did not get up and share anything. The time before that was my first, and all I could do was express uh, how beautiful it was and how euphoric I felt in being here. So now, uh, now that the euphoria has passed, I'm anxious to share... Um, with everyone all at once, how things are changing for me and how excited I am about this journey with everyone. And, um, it's going to be good. So um, I think I'm going to leave it here. Part three will be the end of this little series. It's about 10 minutes to five, my time in Hawaii. And uh, uh, we're going to be making dinner soon, so we make sure we get to eat before Clive gets here at 7. It's amazing how much prep time food takes when you have to do everything by hand and when you're working with raw food. But we are going to be cooking tonight. We're going to cook some wild rice and have a really nice cooked dinner tonight. Uh, Vanessa invited me to have dinner with her, and I am so grateful for new friendship I have with her. So I want to express my thanks to all of my friends who are watching, who have supported me throughout this new adventure of mine, and uh, my family as well. I'm hoping that my son and uh, Clint, his dad, will get to see these videos. And uh, I love all of you. Namaste. Aloha.